This week on Jimbo Vision, it's joy. Hello, joy. As someone who really enjoyed Inside Out, I'm very excited that they're making spin-off movies. Joy, though, it turns out, is not connected with that film. And neither is misery, although <laughs> tell that to my traumatized six-year-old. Instead, this is the true story, or at least the bits that Hollywood wanted, of Joy Mangano, the small-town single parent who invented the miracle mop. Now, obviously, that would be a pretty exciting pitch on its own, but what makes this an even more Hollywood story are the many obstacles and setbacks that Joy had to overcome on her way to a happy ending, chiefly her menagerie of a family. Who's back? Captain Jack is lying jackass. You know what you are? You're like a gas leak. You're silently killing us all. That's her parents, for example. Her mother, played by Virginia Matson, who's entirely useless and watches soap operas from bed all day long. Her father, Rudy, is played by Robert De Niro. He lives in the basement and contributes probably the single best father of the bride speech ever. Edgar Ramirez is ex-husband Tony, a failed singer, also living in the basement. There's Isabella Rossellini laying it on with a shovel as Rudy's slightly mad Italian girlfriend. Hope you're keeping up with all of this. And also joining in the fun, there's Bradley Cooper as a slightly messianic TV producer. Heading the cast and giving it both barrels as the film's Mrs. Mangle is Jennifer Lawrence. Empowered, inspiring, brave, battling, fierce and tender. What if they don't see you? They're gonna see me no matter what. Now, Lawrence, De Niro and Cooper were of course all in director David O. Russell's last two pictures, American Hustle and Silver Linings Playbook. And Joy contains elements of both of those movies. It shares Hustle's terrifically retro mise-en-scene and Silver Linings' quirky air of mental instability. As a bizarre opening scene and the frequent dream sequences underline, this is Joy's story and soap opera, a kind of melodramatic romp and the kind of movie where characters could break into song and dance at any moment and no one would be particularly surprised. It's an ambitious approach from Russell and the good news is it largely works. For 90 minutes, this soap opera, this soap mopera, if you will, swept me off my feet, charming, funny and as absorbing as one of Joy's fabled utensils. Problem is though, the movie actually lasts for 120 minutes and the last half hour feels relatively unfinished. Gone is the magic and rhythm of the earlier scenes. In their place, a series of expository set pieces accompanied by a spectral voiceover that tie up the various loose ends. To sum up then, it's a little over long, but this Mobsters Inc. fable is still an enjoyable and inspiring story of one woman's road to success. I'll give it a six and a half out of 10. Mm -hmm.